The Breckenridge Vipers are back this weekend for another season of semi-pro hockey. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First... Copper Mountain opened for the season today with 64 inches and 275 acres. Take it from the resort's senior vice president, Jesse True. It's the best opening day I've seen in 15 years. True was at the top of the Storm King T-Bar, one of seven chairlifts spinning for opening day. At the bottom were Keystone's Todd and Zabel Parrot, aka Z Shreds on Instagram. So what brought them over to Copper? Yeah, just to get some fresh pal if Storm King's open and uh, looking down to the bottom, it's just got a lot of uh, nice freshies out there waiting for us. A trio of 20-something friends from Denver ditch school and work for opening day, led by Paul, the only guy wearing a rainbow tutu. It's a great day, beautiful. They've got a bunch of snow, and uh, I'm just excited to be up here in the sun and with these fine people. Also ditching work was Gunner, except he brought his boss. Boss and his daughter. Beautiful son, knew there's snow, want to enjoy it. Copper welcomes a new president and general manager this week. The resort's parent company, Powder Corp, hired former Chicago Bears tight end Dustin Lyman. He serves as co-president with Justin Sibley. Lyman comes from Famous Brands International, owner of Miss Fields Cookies, where he was CEO. Former GM Gary Rogers resigned this summer after 20 years with the resort. It's a good weekend to be on the snow. The T-Bar at Breckenridge opened this afternoon with access to North Bowls Contest and Horseshoe. Peak 9 opens tomorrow for 1,000 acres, the most in Colorado. Keystone opens top to bottom skiing tomorrow, along with the Outback and more trails on North Peak. A Basin and Loveland are opening new terrain. The Beaver's Chair should be ready by December, along with Montezuma Bowl. Ptarmigan at Loveland is about one week away. Across the pass, Vail opens Chair 11 Northwoods and Chair 14 Sourdough, adding another 300 acres for 900 total acres. And Beaver Creek opens for the season tomorrow with top to bottom riding. Strawberry Park and Bachelor Gulch are closed. There's tons of free music in Summit this weekend, starting this afternoon at Copper with three days of outdoor concerts at East Village, including Devochka this Sunday. Tomorrow in Dillon, rising country star Carly Pierce plays a free concert at the Dillon Amphitheater starting at 1 p.m. In Breck, electro DJ Grammatic and Big Boy of Outcast play the South Gondola lot for free beginning at 4. Semi-pro hockey season begins tomorrow when the Breckenridge Vipers open their fifth season against the Pikes Peak Vigilantes. The Vipers added some locals in the offseason, team owner and starting forward Rick Battenberg. They're obviously local Summit guys. Uh, you know, they all care about each other. The Vipers lost in the postseason last year to rivals Vale Yeti. Vale went on to lose the championship to NorCal, and the Vipers picked up a Yeti starter, Dan Ottenreef. Battenberg also beefed up the Vipers' defense. We really picked up a lot of defensemen this year that really know what they're doing, so expect a real physical game from the back end this year. Tomorrow's game is 8 p.m. at Stephen C. West Ice Arena. Season ticket holders are invited to a VIP party beginning at 5. If you're wondering what happened to Summit's junior hockey team, the Breckenridge Bolts, the league folded after the season, and the team is on hiatus. Former general manager Ren Arbuthnot. We had an option with Steamboat to join the Western States Hockey League. They had the financial capital to make it work. We would have incurred probably about a fifty to $70,000 loss year one, which basically sunk our aspirations of joining that league. The Bolts debuted last winter and played just one season after two other local hockey teams folded. Our Arbuthnot said the Bolts might return with the right league. In sports, the Avalanche play the Capitals tonight. Puck drop is 7. Tomorrow, the CU Buffs play number 19 Utah, and CSU plays number 23 Utah State. On Sunday, the Broncos face the 7-2 Chargers in Los Angeles. And in local sports, brought to you by Deep Water Mountain, Inc., Summit High seniors Noel Resignolo and Maddie Markle committed to collegiate sports earlier this week. Resignolo heads to University of Alaska Fairbanks for cross-country running and Nordic skiing. Markle attends Regis University in Denver on a lacrosse scholarship. Winter sports get started next week. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.